Welcome to my channel. Back with another movie recap. This is a drama and crime genre movie and it has 7.1 IMDb rating. The name of the movie is, 99 Homes, and release year is 2014. The movie has won 12 awards and been nominated 24 times from different film festivals. The film is about a single father who struggles to get back his foreclosed home by working for the real estate broker who is the source of frustration. His job is to evict other families from their homes. To find out more about the film story, bear with me until the end. I hope you enjoy watching my recap. And as quick reminder this video contains spoilers. Dennis Nash, a recently jobless construction worker in Orlando, Florida, gets evicted from the home he shares with his mother, a hairdresser, and their small son, Connor. The eviction is being overseen by real estate mogul Rick Carver, who is affectionately known as, boss, among the enforcing police officers. Dennis and his family have settled into a cheap and claustrophobic hotel. Dennis visits Rick's workplace in an attempt to retrieve the equipment that was taken from him. The encounter is witnessed by Rick, who is impressed by Dennis's courage. He offers Dennis a job as a handyman for his rental buildings, and Dennis gladly accepts. Quickly understanding the real estate scams that take advantage of government and banking restrictions to the detriment of suffering homeowners, Dennis becomes Rick's helper and helps carry out evictions himself. It turns out that Rick and Dennis come from similar backgrounds, and Rick concludes that it's better to be the hunter than the prey after witnessing his father labor hard for little pay and realizing how the deck is stacked against the average man. Dennis receives compensation for his services rendered to Rick and partakes in Rick's opulent way of living. While making his rounds, he runs across the father of his son's closest friend, however, the dad has grown angry toward Dennis since learning of his involvement in Rick's eviction business. He claims the eviction is unlawful and vows to challenge it in court. Almost immediately after starting work for Rick, Dennis advises him to save the checks Rick sends as payment so that he may put the money toward the purchase of the home he was forced to leave. Rick advises him to hold off on buying the house back for the time being, saying that he should not become emotional about real estate. They negotiate a purchase of Rick's childhood home from him, but the lengthy legal procedure prevents them from moving in right once. But to his mother and son's amazement, he shows them the house and says they are moving back in. On the other hand, Dennis and his family are threatened by a fellow guest at the hotel where they are staying. He says he doesn't know the man, but his mom and dad are skeptical of his income. After seeing how often Rick receives threatening phone calls, he plans to sell the family home and buy a mansion as soon as possible so that he can get his family out of the motel. Dennis's mother does not believe him at first when he brings his mother and kid to the lavish house and tells them he bought it and sold their old house so they could move out of the hotel room immediately. The loss of their longtime house shocks Dennis' mother, and she is repulsed to learn that her son made his fortune by assisting Rick in preying on homeowners with financial difficulties. Connor agrees with his grandmother's displeasure with the plan and accompanies her as she leaves Dennis, in an effort to kick out a homeowner, the father of Connor's closest friend, Rick puts together a multi-million dollar real estate deal, but the plan is threatened by a court dispute. If the homeowner prevails, the contract will fall apart because, in his view, the paperwork necessary to remove him is incomplete. Rick faces an ethical conundrum after he forges the paperwork and asks Dennis to submit it to the court. Dennis ultimately follows Rick's instruction and brings the court the missing paperwork that proves the homeowner's case to be invalid. A gunfight ensues during the ensuing eviction. Dennis admits to providing the court a counterfeit paper because he is afraid the man, whose family is also there, would be murdered in a shootout. The homeowner gives up, and officers take Dennis to their car to contact Rick. The homeowner's kid sees Dennis waiting in his car, gives him a kind grin, and then dashes out of sight. That was recap of, 99 Homes. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed the recap, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to not miss videos like this.